Good morning, YouTube. This is Becca from Becca's Music Room. I'm a music teacher who blogs about teacher tips, teacher life, teacherpreneurs, and all things that might make your life maybe a little bit easier. Today, I'm back with another day in the life of the music teacher vlog, and it is, let's see, it's Wednesday. It is the Wednesday after we got back from spring break. So it's spring break last week. It was fabulous. Um, we went to Disney. I did not want to come on Monday. I was like being a big, huge baby about it. And I was like, I don't want to get out of bed because I have to go to school. Um, but I've gotten myself together <laughs> and it's actually been better than I anticipated. Although my um, expectations were fairly low coming in just because of the groups that I have this week and all sorts of stuff. Um, I've been doing pretty good like yesterday and today. Got Worked out this morning for the first time since before spring break. Um, it's been a while, but you know, didn't die. So that's always good. And I've been getting here. I've been getting up on time. So I've been getting to school on time, which is also really helpful. But this is one of those weeks where everything is not gonna be perfect. And I just have to be okay with that. <laughs> I'm doing a new set of lessons. So I have like the same kids for a whole week. So I have five, you know, five new lessons times you know, however many classes I teach, I can't even think right now. Um, so I have all these new lessons. I have like things that I need to get prepped for them that maybe isn't ready. And I'm just going to have to be okay with that. Um, yeah. And I know some people are like, well, you should stay later. Um, I did stay late yesterday. I really don't usually stay late. I get here really early. I get here like 45 minutes early every day so that that will help out. Um, and I really try to leave on time. And the reason is because first of all, I'm exhausted at the end of the day and just kind of useless. And secondly, because when I leave later, there is so much more traffic that it takes me like twice as long to get home. So if I leave on time, then the traffic's not really an issue. But if I wait, then it takes so much, much longer. Also, if I'm saying yes to staying at school to finish things, I'm saying no to other things that need to get done, like cleaning my house and my mental sanity and all of those kind of things. So I try not to. I did yesterday because it just like it needed to happen. Um, and then I left my room in a big hot mess because I was like, you know what? It's five o'clock. I'm leaving. Whatever. And I'm going to show you just how great it is. Here's this see. loveliness. This is my desk. So this is what I was working on yesterday. I needed to cut out everything in the world. Um, this is what we're gonna use today, using these today. Um, other stuff I have not cut out yet. Recorders that need to go to my house. Um, this is piano music packets. I was also working on this yesterday and I got halfway through and I was like, you know what? We're doing centers today. So I only need to have like 10 of these ready and not all 30, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, and I started, look, more stuff on the floor. I started replacing my old um, center stuff from last time with new things. These, actually, I just got up in my TPT shop yesterday. They're um, recorder flashcards that go along with the Lead Up curriculum that we did. Let's see. Ooh, look, I got books on my bookshelf. Looks so much better. Um, you know, here's my halfway done stuff. And, oh, here's the plant that it child ripped out yesterday you can see the dirt everywhere <laughs> oh, gracious um, we used the scarves yesterday here's a bunch of writing assignments and instruments that need to go up so there i thought know. i would show you that just to you know refresh your mind that it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be clean when you leave it is okay you can leave anyway right now i need to check my email really quick and clean this stuff up because I'm like I don't even I don't even know what to do so here's my list so far I need to send an email about our PBIS tomorrow I have to go around and figure out how many students are coming to PBIS and how many did not earn it I need to prep for my choir which is going to be this afternoon and that's another thing I wanted to have all these things prepped all their music ready to go and I do not think that's going to happen so we're just going to have to deal with it I have to email oh my gosh a gifted teacher because of this just Ugh, ridiculousness um not my gifted teacher like the gifted teacher I need to email is not anything bad it's for my class and it just mm, mm, don't even want to talk about it I need to prep for all my centers today 
I need to put up my recorder karate papers, pick up my room, clean my desk, and go to a meeting during my planning, which means I don't know when any of this stuff is going to get done. Anyway, um, I have these little letters and numbers here. Basically, the letters say how urgent something is. The numbers say what order I'm going to do it in. So, A1 is the first thing I'm going to do. A2 is the second thing I'm going to do. I read about this in Brian Tracy's book, which I can't think of the name right now, but I will link it down below. Um, so, then I have like A is things that absolutely I cannot leave until they're done. B is things that I really want to do but don't have to be done. C is things that like it's not a huge deal if they don't get done, but I want them to be done. Um, and then testing, meeting, I have during my planning, I don't have a letter next to it because I have to go, so I figured I don't need to put it in any sort of order because I know when it's gonna happen. So I hung these little command strips to hang um, my to-do list, and then also this is my calendar, and then underneath I have another clipboard that has you can't see it because it's covered, um, but it has all the phone numbers for the school. And these are like my quick reference things. And this has just been a game changer because it gets everything off of my desk and really is helpful. I do, however, want to upgrade these clipboards to something a little more aesthetically pleasing, but for now they're fine. Oh, and I eventually need to put this painting back up where it goes, which is over there. Okay, so we are getting there. I've got second or third grade is gonna do some soulfish kaboom. They're practicing so me and la. They did just learn do this week, but I don't feel comfortable with them practicing it on their own. Um, then they're gonna use these fish to practice their um, soulfish, but they're going to make, they're gonna use them to make patterns. So they're gonna pick as many as they want, I don't even care, and string them together to make a pattern. And then, oh, we're gonna use these kites. This one says do, me, there's so, and la in here. And they're going to make patterns, and then they're gonna play them on the xylophones, and that's gonna be my teacher-led group. Then my fourth and fifth graders are doing piano centers. They're gonna do, <laughs> they're gonna do treble clef kaboom we're still doing treble clef kaboom we've been doing it for like months now um and then we're gonna do this piano matching game this is a puzzle pieces one i do have a bunch that are different kinds i have like hearts and shamrocks and easter eggs and bunnies and stuff but i wanted to have these to use both for um, for March, April, and May. So I just went with the puzzle pieces because I can use them at any time of the year. And so you match the letter, the note, and the note on the piano. Our group for fourth and fifth grade is going to be at the keyboards and they're going to start on their first piano karate book. So in here I have reference, treble clef, a keyboard, um, an explanation of piano karate, and then this is gonna be their first belt. They just have to play those rhythms on those notes. And then they're like super simple. Honestly, I have like absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So we shall see how it goes. All right, compositions. The kids are gonna work with a partner on the xylophones. And we have done this before, but with the glockenspiels. And I put little pieces of paper. These are a mess. Little sticky things that had M for me, S for so, and things like that. And so now I'm trying to wean them off of that. So like last time I didn't tell them where law was, they just had to figure it out. So this time I'm just writing on the board. These are the letters that you play for each one. And I'm gonna see if that's enough. If they need more structure, then I'll add the little things back onto it. But I'm hoping that since we've done it before, that they'll be kind of ready to go for this.
All right, so I'm actually doing pretty good. I got all the stuff for centers done, got the xylophones pulled out. I got the papers up for the recorder karate things. I'm gonna have the kids sign the papers when they get them. And I'm going to, I have like some recorders and stuff. I think if any of them actually get through all of the belts that I'm gonna give them a recorder that are like my personal ones to give away. Um, I don't actually expect any of them to get that far. But regardless, um, you know, hypothetically, <laughs> but, um, and I will edit out the part of that video where I stomped on a gigantor cockroach because that's disgusting and you don't need to see that. Um, I'm going to see if I can get everything ready for my Schumann singers. That's my choir, um, that I have this afternoon. So I just want to have like all the music pulled up, my rehearsal plan ready to, we are doing this little, they call it a musical play. I tell the kids it's a musical, but you know, it's called Once Upon a Lily Pad by um, Mary Donnelly and George L.D. Strid. And so last year I did one of these. It was something about a jungle. It's a jungle out there and it was so much fun and the kids loved it. So I bought one that is by the same people again. So hopefully the kids will like this one just as much. Um, we've already got our parts down, already learned like the first two songs. So we're trucking along. Hey guys, it is lunchtime in the morning. It went pretty well. I'm feeling pretty successful. Um, third grade did their stuff. I have, <laughs> I have one friend in there that um, was a little extra fun. And let's just say he misses half of my classes because he's running around the hallways and screaming. So he was presenting problems and the para within like the first minute just called and was like, yeah, he needs to go. Um, so then after he was gone, then it was fine. And we went through our um, centers, did a pretty good job with it. I was, I was pleased. Um, fourth and fifth grade did a really great job with their centers. I'm super excited about all of our keyboard stuff. They seem to be getting it. Um, and I wasn't planning on teaching my third graders keyboard this year, but I think I will teach them at least where the notes are so that next year they will be ready. Because I noticed like last year we hardly learned anything. It was literally just like how to turn it on, how to find each note. And this year, like the first day I pulled it out on Monday and they were like, oh yeah, D is in the doghouse. And then we just count over from there and they like already knew where everything was. So it was really good. Still a few people struggling, but um, seems to be going pretty good. And I already have my first friend that tested out of the white belt. So that's exciting. And then I had a teacher from a neighboring school who came over to borrow some microphones. So she got there at the tail end of fifth grade. Um, Thankfully it was this fifth grade class and not one of the others. Uh, um, because I mean, regardless, fifth grade and lining up, especially after centers is going to be chaos no matter what. And that's what I told her, I was like, yeah. you know, sorry, lining up, centers, chaos. Um, but at least it wasn't one of the other ones where kids are trying to you know, hurt each other. Um, so, that was good. I'm going to heat up my lunch and then I will check back with so you in a I am going to eat my lunch. I'm eating the same thing that I've eaten for like the last four vlogs. I'm having um, buffalo chicken dip with a fork. Yep. Salt and pepper cashews and some strawberries. Um, I know it's the same thing I've been eating, but it's yummy and it's low carb and it's easy and it's filling, so that's my goal. Um, before my first grade gets here, I need to clean up just a little bit more, and then I need to do something. Oh, and I need to start calling and asking people <laughs> how many of their students are going to PBIS tomorrow. We have PBIS monthly where we, instead of having specials, the kids go to like a big event and it is a huge pain for a lot of reasons. But one of the biggest things is that I have to find out how many students are going to PBIS and how many students are not because they haven't earned it because those students go somewhere else. And I need to know if we need one classroom for those students or two. But no matter what I have done, there is not a way to get the teachers to tell me how many people, like I've tried emails, I've tried putting things in their boxes, I've still only gotten two responses from the entire school. Um, so now I need to go and call all of them because 
I need to know. And now last year, or not last year, at the beginning of the year, I would literally go and knock on every single door, um, which was effective, but a pain for me and calling just is a lot easier. And then I just go and talk to the people who are left over, which hopefully we won't have any because I can't do it during my planning time because I have a meeting and I can't do it during um, intervention, which is um, the time that I'm supposed to be working in classrooms, but I have used it to do this before but I have um, choir, so I can't do that. So, yeah, fun stuff. Also, I know I said that I wasn't going to tell you about my lessons before I do them anymore, but I am gonna do that anyway. Um, so today, my kindergarten and first graders are going to learn the song Morgan the Monkey, which is from the Activate books. Um, I have it around here somewhere so I can show you. And then we're gonna do one of the songs from Game Plan that's a game and it's really cute, it's called I don't know what it's called, but it goes, um, I don't want to sing it because I don't know if there's a copyright issue or not, but it's, oh my goodness, I declare there's a monkey in a chair. Copy him for, copy him because it's true, monkey see and monkey do. So one kid sits in the front and they sit in the chair and they're the monkey and they get to pick a way to keep the steady beat and we all copy it and then they get to pick a new person to go while we sing and it's super cute. And then we're going to watch some videos of musicals because we're working on musicals at the moment, that's our um, musical style. My second graders, I haven't decided what they're gonna do. I'm probably gonna come up with a couple different ideas because technically they're supposed to do what my third grade does, um, but they're not doing centers. It's just not gonna happen. Um, so I'm gonna look through and see what I can pull to make it happen. I haven't decided yet. All right, so it is the end of the day and it went over pretty well. I almost just like fell over, good gracious. It went pretty well. I'm gonna talk as I put some things up. I somehow managed to pull like three copies of this out as I was trying to teach the kids the music. <laughs> um, so let's see what happened after we talked. I had first, I had kindergarten and first grade. They loved the new song that we learned today. Morgan the monkey likes to mamba and they loved the monkey in the chair song. We watched some videos from musicals, which was really fun and good. And I am currently cleaning up just a few things. I try to clean up three things before I leave. And honestly, once I do three, if I just see a bunch of other stuff, I tend to just put it away. And it has kept my room so much cleaner because if you saw my vlogs from like December, it was bad, it was really bad. Um, I had a training for the standardized testing during my planning, which was not fun. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. It's gonna be like three weeks straight. So that's gonna be great. Um, and then I had my second grade and y'all, my second grade this week is wild. But today they were actually reasonable like it still wasn't perfect but it was better I mean all week has been better we've actually gotten through all of our lessons all week which is a huge deal um and so today was not fabulous but it was pretty good um you know it's one of those where if there's children who are flipping around and screaming and messing with each other like that is totally normal so most of us contained and in our seats, and I'm okay with that. Um, we got to play the castanets and the egg shakers to the song Breezes Are Blowing. I will link that down below. I have a whole lesson that goes along with it, and we just did a little portion of it today. I cannot, y'all, get the top off of this while I'm trying to talk to you and only use one hand. Um, so I'm going to leave that and fix it tomorrow because you know what? Some things can be left until tomorrow and it's not a big deal and it's okay that's my goal and i am gonna head out soon because i actually have been running around for the past like half hour trying to get the last couple people who still had not told me how many of their kids are going to pbis tomorrow um and i like just could not find some of them so i got that done I just cleaned up and 
I am going to close out my computer and I'm going to head home. Well, by way of the post office. I have to go to the post office because I'm sending a bunch of my clothes to thread up. And then I'm gonna go home. I need to read. And then after I read, I'm going to clean the bathroom. And then I'm going to work on TPT because I've been working my butt off to get all of these um, instruments of the orchestra families packets for subplans finished and I got them finished yesterday so I want to upload them today and then tomorrow I'm gonna take the afternoon off and I'm not gonna do any work I'm gonna try to take the afternoon off and not do any work but I can't guarantee that that will actually happen because I actually really enjoy it so a lot of times I end up working when I'm relaxing so but I'm gonna try not to I'm gonna try to take tomorrow off to kind of just chill and get ready for Friday so that it'll be, you know, the end of my first week after spring break. And then I only have seven more. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any questions or comments about lessons, if you have any <laughs> helpful hints about the keyboards, please, please, please leave them in the comments because group piano is definitely not my forte. Um, so like, subscribe, and share. Let me know anything that you need to know down, and I will try to remember to link everything I talked about in the description below. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.